Um, I, I know because I've read your book and I've been in contact with you about a small rumor that there's possibly a movie yes. in the works. Yes. I am actually collaborating with someone in California and we are writing a movie screenplay together which possibly could even go to um, HBO, it can go to Lifetime Hallmark, we can go theater. We're not quite sure which way we're going to turn it towards but the potential is there and we are working on that. We're very excited actually and uh, a book will also be based off the script. That really excites me. we we'll probably have to have you come back. <laughs> we'll talk I would about love the to. Movie. It would be great. It would be great. Um, also, I want to give more information about other women who might be interested in getting a body painting and a, and a photograph themselves. Where could they go to contact you or find more information on that? Um, the project is, um, we actually have a YouTube channel and there's also uh, uh, the products. We've made products from each of the individual pieces so far. So there's like mouse pads and coffee mugs and t-shirts and different things. And um, from the products that are online, 100% uh, of the profits are actually donated back. Mm -hmm. um, and then I'm also going to have uh, fine art prints and framed pieces and working on doing a uh, coffee table book and hopefully a national gallery tour if we can get the sponsorships for it. Um, right now we've um, painted and photographed 18 women, um, all different backgrounds, and um, we're on the way to 50 women for the total project. And as I said, Cindy's the, the lead model and she's really helping to uh, get the project out there and get it in front of people. Um, there's, uh, the shop is cafepress.com uh, forward slash BCABPP, which is basically just Breast Cancer Awareness Body Painting Project, okay. sort of a, and then all of the other websites, Twitter and YouTube, all basically the same thing at the end. Okay, great. And also, uh, I'd like to say one thing, it's also available on my website too, the Cafe Press, for this particular ribbon in the sky. It's uh, the name of the book, The Empty Cup Runneth Over dot com, mm -hmm. uh, which is also a very educational website. We have a lot of other inspirational videos. We have survivor stories. We have the latest news about breast cancer. We have the latest news about uh, other cancers actually on there. So the website is full of information which would be wonderful for people to go ahead and visit. I, I always tell people, be prepared to be on there for at least an hour because we have radio shows, uh, we have the videos and other stories. Right, and also, I know you're touring through the educational tour with the high schools and colleges. Um, are you offering touring or book signing anywhere else that people could ask for you to come out? On the website, we do have, uh, on the emptycuprunnethova.com, we have a, uh, uh, an area where if people would like me to come and speak, they can actually contact me through my website. Great. Do you guys have anything else you wanted to share today? Or? Well, I just want to recap that uh, breast cancer diagnosis caught early is treatable. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the important thing is maintaining a healthy body weight, uh, diet and nutrition, uh, exercise, and be uh, proactive. If you feel uncomfortable with your physician, you have the right to go ahead and get a second opinion. Sometimes the young are afraid to question someone of authority, which is understandable. Mm -hmm. um, I wasn't even that young. I was diagnosed really at 45. Uh, and sometimes I felt uncomfortable questioning a doctor who I really had a lot of trust in. So it's very important to go ahead and don't be afraid to ask questions. Right. And it's, it's, it's crucial, it's actually crucial because you must feel comfortable with your team. I unfortunately did not have what they have today is a multidisciplinary team. They have the nutritionist, they have, they have a psychosocial psychologist, they have um, uh, also group sessions. So that was not available to me when I was diagnosed. If it was, it wasn't offered. So that's something that's really important. Just ask questions, it's very important. Well, thank you so much for sharing thank and you. for writing this book. And I look forward to the movie. And thank you so much for coming and sharing thank the you. photography. And I also wanted to make sure to give credit to um, Keegan from bodyartbykeegan.com. She's the body painter. She's really been instrumental in, in moving this project forward with me. And um, she helps me with some of the designs. Each of the designs are specific to each woman and whether it be their passions or their interests or their journey through breast cancer. And then we try to pick a theme that also ties to the larger uh, concept of breast cancer awareness. Mm -hmm. um, and if people want to get involved, since we're still seeking survivors for the project, um, there's a Cafe Press store that has uh, products, mouse pads, t-shirts, coffee mugs, a variety of different things that all donate back uh, to the project and to 
uh, various uh, organizations, one of which is the Christy Lash Miracle Foundation. And that can be found at cafepress.com forward slash BCABPP, which is basically the shortened version of the Breast Cancer Awareness Body Painting Project. And um, if you use those same letters at the end, you can also find the project on Twitter and on YouTube also. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you for having us. And I look forward to seeing your movie. And thank you to the audience for watching. Have a great day.